winter inspection, you know, the biggest thing I'm looking at is bee population and I'm looking at uh, the weight on a hive just to make sure they don't need to be fed. The quickest and easiest way to inspect a hive for their weight is just to do what we call a lift test. And that's where you just really lift up on the hive and see how heavy they are. And that gives you a pretty good feel for how much food they have. You know, it doesn't have to be exact, but this hive is pretty heavy, especially if I compare it to these other hives. You know, this is, I would guess there's 80 to 100 pounds of honey in here. And that can be enough. I mean, if you come out here on a warm, sunny day, you see a lot of bee activity in front of the hive, they're flying. Um, you lift up on it, the weight feels good. Sometimes what I do is I crack the boxes apart. So I'll just quickly crack the boxes apart and take a quick look. Obviously there's plenty of bees in there. They come boiling out um, and that can be enough. And that, that may be the only winter check that I do uh, over a month or so period. And if I wanna go a little bit deeper, I can. You know, if it's a warm, nice day like this, then you can take the lid off um, do a little bit deeper dive inspection and see what's going on inside. But again, I'm not really expecting to see brood. All I'm really looking for is bee population. I can quickly see the bee population is great on this hive. And again, you could open up a hive like this so you guys can see. I'm going to tilt, tilt it forward. You know, you can see there's lots of bees in here. You can open a hive like this quickly, you know, for a few minutes looking from the top. You know, even if it's 30 degrees and sunny, it's not gonna hurt the bees if you just quickly look and then put the lid back on. You might wanna put a weight on top of that lid because you don't want it blowing off. Once you've kind of broken that propolis or broken that burr comb like you saw I did when I opened this, they really had it stuck down and I kind of broke it open. Um, that lid is much more prone to fly off in high winds. So weight that lid down if you're gonna open it. You can see in this hive, um, I'll get the camera a little bit closer so that you can see, uh, but you can actually see they've got all this propolis all around the edge. Um, there we go. You can see all around the edges, they've got propolis everywhere. Uh, they've got burr comb up here that was holding that lid down. They've really kind of prepared themselves for winter uh, very well um, just to get everything sealed up and locked down. But this, this hive looks really healthy and so I'm really not going to dig in to the hive um, because again, we've, we've treated them for mites. I can feel that they've got plenty of weight. Uh, there's good bee population. They really don't need anything from me other than a pollen patty. I'm gonna keep feeding pollen patties you know, through the month of November for sure, uh, just to let them continue rearing just a little bit of brood as they wrap up brood production for the year. So um, that's really it for, a, for an inspection. I'm gonna grab a pollen patty. And so here's my all-time favorite pollen patty, which is the global pollen patty. These are absolutely fantastic. And since this hive doesn't need feed, I'm not gonna worry about putting a sugar, sugar brick on it. I'm not gonna worry about giving them syrup. I'm just gonna put that pollen patty right in between these two boxes. So I'm gonna give the hive a little bit of smoke. I'm gonna put this pollen patty right in the middle, just like that, close them up. And I'll do that a couple more times in November and I'm done. So winter inspection doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. And then I'm gonna strap this lid down so that it doesn't fly off because now I've broken all their hard, hard earned propolis apart. But that's it for a winter inspection. It can be pretty quick, pretty simple.